Two days ago, our country recognized the 15th anniversary of the 2001 terror attacks that changed our way of life forever. Standing 1,776 feet tall as a symbol of our nation's resolve, One World Trade Center immediately became a landmark upon opening in 2014. And Meredith recently tagged along with a group of young Yankees on a visit to the observatory at One World Trade. The last month for the Yankees has been extremely exciting, to say the least, and a big part of it has been the youth movement. And although some of the baby bombers did not come up together, it's pretty clear there is a common bond there. Now, some of those guys have never been to New York City, so what better way to know the city than to explore the city? Welcome to One World Observatory. It's amazing to come here and get to see it all firsthand. I think you really get the magnitude of um, what New York's like from up here. It's incredible. Before 9-11, only about 20,000 people lived in Lower Manhattan. The residential population down here now, 15 years after 9-11, is three times what it was. Oh, this is unbelievable, but I'm, I'm a little scared of heights, so I'm trying to stay <laughs> away from the windows as much as possible. Every day, one and a half million people come onto this island to work, and then every evening they go home again. Uh, so try to avoid rush hour. It's incredible. Um, Aaron and I were just looking at the view, and we're like, there's so many buildings, so many people, and um, it's eye-opening, but it's exciting at the same time. Once you cross the Harlem River and you get off this island, you're in the Bronx, and of course that's where Yankee Stadium is. To be able to experience something like this and, you know, kind of see, see New York outside of just the Yankees, to be able to do it with this group of guys is a lot of fun, it's awesome.